I hope you can see me okay. It, it's, it's very cold, but the sun is actually out, but it's still very cold. Um, the snow has not yet entirely melted. It's been about two days since it snowed. Um, but it's very cold, um, even indoors. Um, so today, uh, garlic bread baguettes. I do not normally eat bread, but it's just something quick um, to put in the oven. Uh, some sliced beetroot and a vegetable burger with a fried egg on top, melted goat's cheese, cinnamon. Um, I put a little too much cinnamon on, I believe, but I, it's a good job. I like it. Um, and some rosemary. So that will be the focus, the vegetable burger with goat's cheese melted on top of the burger, a fried egg um, placed on top of the goat's cheese, um, cinnamon and some rosemary. So that I, I can already smell the cinnamon, as you can imagine. Um, and as I say, it's really cold, so food is going to get cold very quickly. So I'm going to tuck into this. But So do you like fried eggs? Do you like cinnamon? Um, let's see how this goes. I like the um, LD spicy bean burgers. They have flavour even, you know, without any seasonings or anything. They're good, en good enough. But the vegetable burgers, these ones, they're a bit plain, so you really need to spruce them up a bit. Um, so there we go. We've got some, not sure where you can see that, but some, uh, all the beetroots trying to share its juices as well. You wait your turn. Um, so there you go. That looks much more succulent for a vegetable burger. So let's get some cinnamon. Oh, yes, the goat's cheese is nice and... Ah yes, nice and gooey, perfect. This will be tasty. Mm. Oh, delicious. Really delicious. Quite a bit of saltiness, as you can imagine, from the goat's cheese. Um, nice yolk from the egg. Um, the cinnamon, just I just love the powdery texture of cinnamon and the, uh, the smell is just so beautiful. The rosemary, yeah, this is a good way to enhance any kind of burger. These burgers are relatively cheap, that being one of the bonuses, but they're just peas and sweet corn inside, so it needs sprucing up. And yeah, once again, the goat's cheese just it just adds so much flavour. Um, it melts so beautifully. The cinnamon on the egg and the rosemary, really beautiful. Mmm, mmm. Oh yeah, I'm definitely making this again, maybe for my birthday next year. Or maybe you could make it for me. Um, that's really nice, that's uh, that's really good, yeah. So this goat's cheese is from Aldi as well. I tried it yesterday for the first time. Um, I tried it straight out of the pack and also melted some onto some carrots and onion and it worked really well. So this goat's cheese, yeah, is a winner. And fried eggs you cannot go wrong with. Mm. Mm.